It's your boy Black Finesse. We back in the building. I was actually gone for spring break uh, majority of this, this past week, so I haven't really been uh, uploading and stuff. Uh, hope y'all enjoy your upcoming spring break or y'all you enjoyed your past spring break. Uh, we are here to watch what does the sun look like from other planets. So no different. It's by Science for Facts. Straight up. Sun looks in other planets in solar system. The sun is the center of the solar system and the primary source of light and heat for all the planets in the system. Yes, we know this. However, the appearance of the sun as seen from different planets can vary significantly due to factors such as distance, atmospheric conditions, okay. and the planet's own rotation. In this topic, we will explore how the sun appears from various planets in the solar system and the unique features that make each view different. Mercury. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and it orbits very quickly, completing one orbit in just 88 Earth days. Mm. Because of its proximity to the sun, the sun appears much larger and brighter from Mercury than it does from any other planet in our solar system. Additionally, because Mercury has no atmosphere, there is no scattering of light, so the sun appears more yellow than it does from Earth. On Mercury, the sun rises hmm? and sets twice during each day I'm because confused. of the planet's slow I thought slow the atmosphere is the reason why it looks yellow. Rotation. Mercury is the closest planet hmm. to the sun and is approximately 58 million kilometers away. Sheesh. From Mercury, the sun appears more than 10 times brighter than it does from Earth, making it difficult to observe without specialized equipment. Sheesh. Venus. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun, Venus, and it Venus. has a thick atmosphere that scatters light. As a result, the sun appears less distinct and more diffuse on Venus than it does from Earth. Additionally, because of Venus's thick atmosphere, it experiences a greenhouse effect that makes it the hottest planet in our solar system, with surface temperatures that can exceed 800 degrees Fahrenheit. On Venus, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east because of the planet's retrograde rotation. That's interesting. Venus is the second planet from the sun and is approximately 108 million kilometers away. Now, it's it's only from weird Venus, because the sun appears about 1.9 times if Mercury than being it does the closest Earth, to the, to the, making to the it extremely sun, I would bright think that's the to observe directly. Earth. From Earth, the sun appears as a bright white circular disk in the Bright sky. White. It looks yellow sometimes. The sun's oh, okay. light is so, scattered by Earth's atmosphere, which is why the sky appears blue during the day. Because Earth is at just the right distance from the sun, it is also the only planet in our solar system that can support life as we know it. On Earth, the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west because of the planet's rotation. Earth mm -hmm. is the third planet from the sun and is approximately 150 million kilometers away. From Earth, that's, the sun that's really how big the sun is, bro. And can like, be we're that far. With the naked eye. And you can see it Mars. with just your own eyes. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it appears smaller <clears throat> and dimmer from Mars than it does from Earth. However, Mars has a thin atmosphere, so the sunlight scatters less than it does on Venus, and the sun appears more distinct. Mm. Additionally, because of Mars's thin atmosphere, it is the planet in our solar system that is most I think I heard something about Mars having a sunset that looks like it's blue. On Mars, the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west because of the planet's rotation. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun this and is approximately 228 million kilometers away. From Mars, the sun appears about 2.4 times dimmer than it does from Earth, making it less intense but still very bright. Hmm. Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and it is much further away from the sun than Earth. Jeez. As a result, the sun appears much smaller and dimmer from Jupiter. However, Jupiter has a thick atmosphere, so the sunlight scatters, causing the sun to appear larger and more diffuse than it does from Earth. Really? Additionally, Jupiter's atmosphere is composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, mm, which gives it a okay. yellowish color. So I'm guessing the thick atmosphere Jupiter, makes the sun The sun spread. appears as a That's small, weird. bright dot in the sky. <clears throat> Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and is approximately 778 million kilometers away. From Jupiter, the sun appears about 27 times dimmer than it does from Earth, due to its distance and well, the fact that Jupiter larger. has a very thick atmosphere. Saturn Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and is even further away from it than Jupiter. As a result, 
the Sun appears even smaller and dimmer from Saturn. However, Saturn's atmosphere is even thicker than Jupiter's, causing the sunlight to scatter even more, so the Sun appears even more diffuse and less distinct. Okay, Additionally, so it makes it less Saturn's distinct. rings okay, okay. can also block that's, some of the Sun's light, so creating weird. interesting patterns of light and shadow on the planet's surface. On Saturn, the Sun appears as a small, bright dot in the sky. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and mm -hmm. is approximately 1.4 billion kilometers uh, away. I remember hearing like on from some Saturn, other pages the sun or appears about uh, channels of documentaries that like the larger the Earth, planet, the hotter it is. Its distance and the fact that it's, Saturn it's still kind of weird that Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and is so far from it that the Sun appears as a small, bright dot in the sky. And it's icy. Because Uranus's axis of rotation is tilted at an angle of 98 degrees, it experiences extreme seasons with long periods of darkness and daylight. Uranus's atmosphere is composed of hydrogen, helium, and methane, which gives it a blue-green color. Hmm. On Uranus, the sun appears as a small, bright dot in the sky. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and is approximately 2.9 billion kilometers away. From Uranus, the sun appears about 360 times dimmer than it does from Earth, due to its great I was, distance. I thought they were going to show the real size, atmosphere. like, if they had any Neptune. proof that they have a camera to see Neptune how far it is. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and is even further away than Uranus. Yep, two. From Neptune, the sun appears as a small, bright thing, and because of Neptune's thick atmosphere, the sun appears even more diffuse and less distinct. Neptune's atmosphere is composed of hydrogen, helium, and methane, which gives it a blue color. Because and of its distance from giants. the sun, Neptune receives very little sunlight and is one of the coldest planets in our solar system. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and is approximately 4.5 billion kilometers away. From Neptune, the sun appears about 900 times dimmer than it does from Earth, due to its distance. And that's and the how heavy the Neptune sun is, bro? That's atmosphere. crazy. It's important to know like, that it don't these distances how far are you constantly are. changing due to in. the orbits of the planets, so these numbers are approximate. Additionally, the actual brightness of the sun as seen from each planet will vary depending on factors such as atmospheric conditions and the angle of the planet's axis. However, this should give you a good idea of the relative distances and brightness levels for each planet. Sheesh! Shout out to Signs for Facts. We on to the next video, man.